Hey guys, this is Suze from A Cell Unsung. Welcome back to my channel. I thought um, I'd go ahead and do a, a November TBR because I haven't really done one of those in a while, a TBR in, in a while. And so, and I do have a few books that I really do need to get through. Some review books, some books that I just want to read. Um, I just, uh, a little bit of a wrap up, I just now today finished reading The Mime Order, um, An Arc of the Mime Order uh, by Samantha Shannon. It's the uh, second book in a seven book series. It's the sequel to The Bone Season. Oh my god, that book, that ending. Uh, I just, I can't. That, that, that ending I should have known that ending was going to happen but I was so caught up in everything else that was going on in the book at the time that it I just never gave thought and holy crap that ending wow seriously just if you haven't read the bone season and if you're dying for a really cool uniquely written wonderful wonderful unique um, world of uh, characters and adventure and epic heroism and courage and just a phenomenally kick-ass um, female character, then The Bone Season is definitely that series that you want to get into. And The Mime Order will be um, releasing January 29th of 2015 I believe um, if they don't change the exact date uh, but it is coming out at the end of um, January the bone season is already out guys go out and get a copy of that book really that is like this is this series just blows my mind like wow so um, yeah anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the TBR because I don't want this to be like 20 minutes long so, I thought, you know, I want to read um, Tandem, and I wanted to read this last year. Uh, my bestie, Molly at mollymoran.com, uh, she's the author of um, the Walker Brothers trilogy, the first book in it, um, As You Turn Away. She's currently working on the second book in the series. And um, the recently, the upcoming release for One Song Away, which will be out in the 1st of December. So, she sent me this book for Christmas um, last year. And I didn't get a chance to read it before the year was over. And I swore I was going to read it at some point this year. Because the um, sequel to this, I think, is coming out either um, before this year is over or sometime next year. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But I have been craving parallel universes and, and alternate dimensions and um, just wonderful, wonderful books like these. And this is uh, about a girl who really enjoys... Um, the stories of the parallel universes that her father tells her and she never really kind of believed in them she just enjoyed the stories that he tell well um it turns out that um she's actually going to find herself thrust into one of those worlds against her will to prevent pretty much imminent war and so in order to do that, she has to slip into an alternate version of herself where she's pretty much this princess who um, vanishes on the eve of her um, arranged marriage, prearranged marriage. And uh, a lot of things happen, and um, if she doesn't succeed in what she's in the task that she's supposed to carry out, then she will be trapped in this girl's body and she'll have to live this life out forever but then you know she gets caught up and torn between the two different worlds that she's in and she has uh two different lives and two different loves one knows her secret one doesn't or one believes she's someone she's not and um 
it's this is just you know I, a lot of things ensue and it's just basically a, a saga of love and betrayal set in paranormal uh, uh parallel not paranormal parallel universes and it just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and so i'm definitely going to read this this month for sure i've pulled it off of the shelf this I'm not sure if it's going to be right now my immediate next read, but it's probably going to be one of the ones that follows soon after that. So, yeah, I definitely want to read this. Then I have an arc that was sent to me by um, Harper Teen, and it is Claudia Gray's um, a thousand pieces of you and i've been hearing a lot about this book and i've been this book has been on my radar for quite some time and i've definitely been wanting to read this um this is pretty much another um par parallel universe story it's kind of sort of like a murder mystery set within a parallel story and uh, except that we do know who the murderer is it's this supposedly it's this guy um that murders her this girl's father and um she follows him through uh, he escapes and she follows him through various different dimension and parallel universes um trying to track him down and bring thing bring him to justice and once she does finally get a hold of him she finds out that there's more to um her father's death than what she had thought and that just kind of blows her world apart and then so much other stuff happens in this novel and i can't say that i have heard one bad thing about it and pretty much the um from what i can see of on goodreads as far as the ratings for this goes it's got some pretty good ratings and people have been saying some pretty good things about this and so i'm really excited to pick this one up so i will definitely be reading that this month and of course we know if you've seen my fall tag if you watch my fall time cozy time tag uh book tag that i uh, posted just recently i love to read um fantasy in the fall and i'm definitely craving fantasy at the moment and um i want one of the books that i want to read this month is by kimberly griffith's little and it is forbidden and um the tagline on this is pretty cool. So much is at risk when everything is forbidden. This just looks like it's going to be a really great um, novel. And it's kind of set um, in the backdrop of ancient Mesopotamia. And um, and the back of it says, if you've ever read Cleopatra's um, Moon or the adult bestseller, The Red Tent, then you're pretty much bound to like this one. I haven't read either of those, but when I read the synopsis for this book on the back of it, and given that it's uh, the backdrop of ancient Mesopotamia, really makes me interested in this. Uh, never mind the gorgeous cover. God, look at that. That is so fall-like. That is just so beautiful. And I just, I'm just so excited to read this, and so I'm definitely going to be picking that up this um, month. The next book, if you look right up there is going to be red queen by victoria ayard i hope i've said her name right anyway this is pretty much a book that follows a girl named mare she is uh of red blood she is of the reds and uh and they're pretty much classified as um poverty stricken commoners who live under the rule of the silvers well this girl finds herself um working in the silver palace the very thing in the heart of the very thing that she just absolutely hates and at some point within this novel she um discovers that she has this um this deadly power that she can pretty much wield over um the silvers and bring like chaos and destruction or you know pretty much cause dang, crazy danger to happen to them and and of course you know they're not going to like that and so there's probably going to be like an epic battle that ensues or a, a lot of things that go on there but anyway this looks like it's going to be another wonderful um fantasy type novel and of course you know lately i can't get enough of fantasy i'm just i'm raving it like the air that I breathe and like I said fall is pretty much fantasy for me and so I am just really excited to read that thank you to um 
um, Edelweiss for, and the publishers for, uh, being so kind as to, um, let me have an e-galley of that for review. And, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be the final book that I read this month, uh, but I'm definitely hoping that I get to it. And it is this gorgeous book right here. It's called, um, Breaking Butterflies by M. Angeles. Angeles? I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. But, um, the back of this says, like a moth to a flame. This is just look at that can we just take a moment to appreciate that cover look at that cover isn't that gorgeous that's just simply beautiful look at that moth and then you see the face of the girl in there and the uh face of the guy anyway this is pretty much um this uh, the story about this girl named Sphinxy and this guy uh, or Sphinxy and Cadence and um these two are pretty much um promised to each other during their childhood and then later again in their life they're drawn to one another um it says that sphinxy is sweet compassionate and plain and it says that cadence is brilliant charismatic and damaged and diseased and um this is pretty much a story about unhealthy love and um sacrifice and innocence lost and uh pretty much this guy can only the only time that he is he he experienced happiness or the closest he comes to happiness is when he's hurting her and she wants to be loyal but fears for her life and down here at the bottom it says only the ultimate sacrifice will give uh this love an ending what i find so interesting about this book it is other than the fact that it's a beautifully disturbing story of uh, first love and um, innocence lost, the author was only 18 uh, when she wrote this novel. And um, I hadn't really heard much about this. Uh, and it, um, Apparently, I had um, uh, entered a giveaway for a copy of this, I guess, because it sounded really interesting to me. And I was never really expecting to win anything but then it kind of popped up in the mail last week and I was like oh cool I'll definitely have to read that so I'm definitely going to try to get to um if I can get through all the other books I'm definitely going to try to get through this one to this one and uh I as far as anything else to read um I still have some um review books that I need to get through um I want to read a new dark a new darkness which is um I guess uh, the start of a spinoff from the apprentice series and uh that is fantasy and magic and wizards and bogarts and things of that nature and uh they apparently you don't necessarily have to um have read the Apprentice series to uh, be able to read this one. So I'm hoping to go into this one with um, eyes wide open and, and hopefully I'll enjoy it. And if I do enjoy it, then I might think about picking up the first book in the Apprentice series. Other than that, that's what I plan on reading this month. And guys, if you've done a um, November an October uh, wrap up or November to be read um, blog post or um, video let me know in the comments down below and um, I'll definitely come by and check out your videos and your blog posts and leave you some comment love if there's any fantasy novels that you or series that you think that I would like um, and you want to suggest them definitely leave them in the comments below along with the links to your posts and videos and um like i said i'll definitely give them uh some thought and who knows maybe i'll read one anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye